Hello and welcome to HEB Art. Today we're at the dollar store where everything is a dollar. I'm going to show you some really cool ideas and products to buy to get you started on your acrylic pouring journey. If you enjoy my video, please press like and subscribe to my channel. These are plastic tablecloths that you can use to cover your tables. You can also use these shower curtains. Paper plates. These are awesome to use as a paint palette. You can also put vases on them for pouring, or you can use them when you varnish or seal your vases. I've learned the hard way. These are much better than styrofoam. Baby spoons. Who would have thought? Plastic spoons are great for stirring up your paints. And because these are plastic, you can peel dried paint off of them and reuse them. You can also use regular plastic eating utensils. These are popsicle sticks, great for stirring. There's a wonderful aisle of glasswork that you could pour upon, and these are bottle brushes that you can use to clean out vases. And speaking of pouring on glass or plastic, they have these foam blocks that you can either shove a dowel into or a popsicle stick and turn Christmas ornaments upside down on them for pouring. This is a whole kit of plastic palette knives. You can also go into the kitchen utensil section and find little spatulas or other items for spreading paint. Amazingly, the dollar store has canvases. These are eight by 10 canvases. They are wrapped canvases with a wooden frame, but they're really not that sturdy. And you can buy smaller ones too at the dollar store. These are great for trying out a color palette or a new technique. Plastic drinking straws, perfect for blowing focused air into an area on your painting or your vase. Bottled water. Bottled water is what you want to use if you're going to premix paint and put it into a storage jar or a bottle. You want bottled water because tap water will spoil and grow mold in it. So if you're going to premix your paint and have it in a squeeze bottle of some type, you want to use spring or distilled water. These little storage bottles are great to put premixed paint into. They're easy to label with a piece of painter's tape. If you're going to use a smaller sized canvas, such as an eight by 10 or smaller, these metal disposable pans are wonderful for setting cups up in the pan and putting your canvas on top, then all the dripping goes right into the pan. Unfortunately, my dollar store did not have any Lazy Susans or turntables. So I have found this little trick. You get two of these pie plates and put marbles in between them. And when you stack them, the top one will spin just a little bit. If you're looking for a spinner, these two plates won't do it, but it is something that will turn slowly for you. Plastic funnels. I just don't think I could ever have enough of these. Super easy to take a can of interior paint, use a plastic funnel to pour the paint into a smaller container. Also super handy for pouring Floetrol out of a big bottle into a smaller container. There were probably a thousand different containers of all sizes 
with twist off lids that you could use to store paint or Floetrol in. This one has marked measurements on it. Measuring cups, an entire set along with measuring spoons in two different types of measurements. Also Ziploc bags of all different sizes. You can take a paint loaded foam brush, stick it in a Ziploc bag, zip it up tight and it will stay pliable. Parchment paper. It's wonderful for using underneath your paintings. It's also good for wrapping paintings up that you have sold. Now supposedly, parchment paper doesn't stick to anything. But I learned the hard way this morning while spraying a vase that it will actually come off on the bottom of the vase. Who doesn't need paper towels in their art studio? Well, I have plenty, thanks to my trip to the dollar store today. You'll find art materials in the larger Dollar Tree stores. The smaller ones still have a lot of the items I showed you today, but the larger ones tend to have a more extensive arts and crafts section. I noticed that they had paint. It was acrylic paint. I didn't buy any because my next video, we're going to look at craft paint, such as Craft Smart and Apple Barrel. Thanks for watching.